Hi there. How can you go about building your house? I'm coming to you at the heart of Kajado County. Lots of tracts of lands. You know, the beautiful parts of the tropical savanna. Vehicles coming back and forth. So gonna be hearing intermittent noise. That aside, let's talk about the entire process. Usually, there is the pre-process of planning. There is the actual building. And even so, there is the occupancy. Let's talk about all these for you to have a sense of how best to go about building your house. And by the way, guys, you can see here even there is a bridge here. There is a seasonal river down here, which actually usually fills this entire area when it rains, okay? Part of the streams leading to River Kandisi. Guys, if you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Join the family by subscribing. And also, while you still add it, drop a like on this video. Thank you for subscribing. For most people out there, building a house isn't an automatic thing. Reason being, they need to really, really plan for it. It isn't something like they're going to wake up one morning and then start building. In essence, finances are a critical thing. But even before we talk about financing, the starting point is for you to know what you need. What do I mean? Guys, different people out here need different things when it comes to housing situation. Maybe you want a big mansion which is going to accommodate you for your remaining rest of life. Maybe you want something temporal which you're going to occupy and then maybe after some time rent it out. Maybe you want to straight up build rental units. It all starts or it is all anchored on what you want to achieve. In other words, what is your housing need? Once you figure that out, also it's going to inform the estimate cost for what you want. Even before you engage an expert on bills of quantity, it's going to assist you have a sense of maybe for such kind of houses, what is the comparative pricing in the market, right? And uh, for most people out here, they don't have a drive really to build a house or even own a home because they haven't taken the first step, right? It all begins with having a plan. What are you going for? After you have a plan is when now you can start working towards ensuring your plan is actualized. So it is important to have a dream and be clear with regards to what type of housing you want, okay? Then the second thing is also it's important to know where you want your house to be, the location. And I'm saying so because it really varies across people. For example, you could be permanently, maybe you were born in Nairobi, you are temporarily assigned to work maybe in a place like Isiolo. Do you really want to build your house in Isiolo knowing very well you're going to be there temporarily? Or maybe you are born in Mandera, you are working in Garissa temporarily. Do you want to have a permanent house in Garissa? It all depends. For most people out there, I've seen cases of family home, they prefer for it to be around a place where they'll spend a good chunk of their life. If it's rentals, really, also for most people, it's the same case, but a lot of people don't really care. But if it's your home, for most people, they want it to be in a place where they'll call home and be comfortable for the longest period of time. So ensure you also take that into consideration. And now, let's talk about the big thing in the room, financing. How exactly will you be able to finance your house? As I said, for most people out there, this is actually the biggest stumbling block. Money for them to be able to build their house. There are multiple modes of financing. First of all, you could be well off, maybe you have the money already, okay? You gotta just jump right onto the project. Maybe you have part of the money, or even so, maybe you don't have no money at all. The last scenario is the worst because Irregardless, whether you're going to build using your own cash or even seek financing, you need to have something. Because most of the times out here, even banks giving mortgage, they want you to put in some effort. They won't give you 100% of your kind of money you need for you to be able to build a house. They want to see that you are actually putting some effort. So that tells you, you too need to have some form of money, maybe roughly 30% 
of what you're gonna require for you to build your house, okay? And as you can see guys here, people are building their homes left, right, center. This is a gated community for someone who is building their house, okay? That tells you guys that actually you need to also have some form of investment because no one out there is gonna give you money 100% for you to build a house if you two are not investing. So plan, have something before you seek even financing. And as I've said, there are multiple modes out there. You could finance it 100%, seek money from the bank, but if you're seeking from the bank, also ensure you have something with you. And then, assuming you have money, you know the kind of house you want, you know the location you want to build in, now we get into the actual building. Also, there are some tips with regards to how best to build a house. And by the way, I'm not gonna give you some of these tips. First and foremost, is that guys, I'm always a pro consulting with experts. What do I mean? When it comes to building a house, we have an assortment of experts out there. Whether it is the architect who's gonna assist you come up with a plan or design, whether it is the people gonna assist you come up with a bill of quantities, whether it is consulting the best of fundies, guys, always consult experts. And I'm saying so because at the end of the day, you want something good. Consult the experts, yes, they might charge you some amount of money, but most of the times it isn't that exorbitant amount of money as people think. It is some money which you can afford. In fact, it is just a few thousands for you to be able to get expert opinion and be sure that whatever you're going to build is going to be something good, something which is going to be long lasting. And I'm saying so because, guys, I'm pretty sure all of us have seen some madness out here. For example, someone has built a house you start wondering, what the heck were they thinking? Most of the times it's because they didn't consult experts. They were doing their own thing, thinking they know it all. People have been doing this thing, for example, for 20 years, 15 years, 30 years. Probably they know something which you don't know. Consult with them and be sure you're going to get the best of deals. And having said that, when it comes to the actual construction, it depends. If it's your first house, at least have someone walk through with you. Maybe you can have the main person there who's foreseeing the construction. You are actually there also to see how it's going on because, guys, when it comes to construction, most of the times that is where people lose money on their value or off their costs. Reason being, most of the times they are there, don't really pay attention to what is happening. And with that, they end up losing a lot of money. Be on the lookout because Uneza Ibiwa. So be on the lookout, know what is happening, and most importantly, don't use shortcuts. I've seen, for example, maybe the BQ say something else, but a person in their wisdom decides to go and do something else. At the end of the day, shortcuts have very dire repercussions. So ensure you stick to the plan. Follow it to the latter for you to be able to actually get good value for your money, okay? You want good value for your money, you want good value for investment, so don't take shortcuts. If you're supposed, for example, to spend on a given piece of item, don't go for a less quality item in the hope that you're gonna save money. It is true, in the short term, you could save money, yes, but in the long run, it will be very costly for you. So ensure you don't take shortcuts and be sure you're gonna be able to get good value for your money. And then, the other thing that guys also don't really take building to building that building very, very fast. Build at the right pace. I've seen, for example, Paul out here, even building very fast, not really waiting for items, for example, to ensure as everything, every aspect of the structure is okay. Ensure you build at the proposed rate, which is ideal for you, so that at the end of the day, you have a building which is very strong and it is working for you. Okay? And then, Beyond now the actual building, assuming you've already built your own house. When it comes to occupancy, as I said, it depends with exactly what you're looking for. For example, have you built your house to be for your own occupancy? Have you built for it to be a rental? It all depends on what the bigger goal is. But when it comes now to the actual occupancy of the house, depends on the context. If it's for your own occupancy, plan on how to move out, go to your new house. But if it's for rental, 
also think about the marketing aspect of it. How are you going to market your houses? What price are you going to charge? And so forth. These you might have to use comparative pricing to see what same kind of structures, design of houses in that area are charging for you to be able to peg your price. But guys, in summary, that is how you move in the entire conduit. Right from planning to actual building to the very end when you're thinking about occupancy. And even in occupancy, do you want to be running the day-to-day -day affairs? Do you want to lend it out to a property manager to connect that? It actually depends also on how busy you are and how available you are. If you are very busy, you are never available, you can also have property managers out there assist you manage your property. What do you all think about this video? As I look to conclude, the key underlying thing when it comes to building your own house is engaging the experts. They're going to assist you get the best of that particular design, the best of what you deserve to get as opposed to going all in and yet you have gaps around knowledge or even so the design you need. Cheers guys, I look forward to with you other awesome videos next time. Bye bye and you all stay safe.